Hey, hey there. I'm Laura Burkhauser, the head of product at Descript. And holy cow, am I excited about the updates we have to share with you today. So as I'm sure you know, here at Descript, we've been proudly serving AI since 2018. We've always tried to serve it up in ways that are useful. And we feel like we've mostly done that, at least according to these tweets. Now, I'm also sure you've noticed how this year AI has gone from this cool thing that Descript and a few other companies were doing to a central feature of basically everything. It all started about a year ago when GPT arrived on our planet and brought along a new kind of AI with powers we'd never seen before. All of a sudden, you didn't need a room full of nerds to create AI features and products. It was just there for the taking. And it became like this all-you-can-eat buffet. You want some AI in your product? Oh yeah, don't mind if I do. Now, as you may have noticed, Descript hasn't really shown up to the buffet. It's not like we thought we were too cool or anything. In fact, it was really hard to resist the urge and join the feeding frenzy. But with a few exceptions, we stayed out of the fray, trying to stay focused on quality and improvement stuff like fixing bugs, polishing our workflows, basically betting that all the AI magic in the world wouldn't really matter if our product didn't perform the way you need it to. Working on that stuff also gave us time to make sure we were coming at this whole AI thing the right way for us. We didn't want to release a bunch of AI stuff just because we could, or trot out some AI party tricks that wouldn't really help anybody do anything except produce a flood of really weird, bad content. Instead, we wanted to make sure that Descript's AI features would actually be useful. At its best, we think AI can be like your junior editor. It's an assistant you can order to do the technical, tedious stuff you don't want to do yourself. And it's a collaborator that can kick ideas around with you, offer suggestions, point out flaws. Then, when it gets down to making the important creative decisions, it can just stay out of the way, because you'll always need a human for that stuff. So that's what we've been up to. And we feel good about where we are. We've made a ton of progress on quality, and we found a bunch of ways we think that AI can be super useful in Descript's workflows. And so, the time has come. We're finally ready to belly up to the AI buffet. And whoo boy, I hope the manager is looking the other way because we are planning to absolutely gorge, piling a whole bunch of new AI features onto our plates between now and the end of the year. And I'm not just talking about that off the shelf GPT stuff. To kick things off, we're introducing an all new version of our in-house AI voice tool. We basically took our beat up old AI into the shop rebuilt the engine, and outfitted it with a set of all-new space-age capabilities like text-to-speech and lightning-fast authorization. The old overdub could get you where you wanted to go, but with our new AI voices, we're handing you the keys to a rocket ship. No more waiting 24 hours to train or verify a voice, and the quality is much, much better. So good that it's now legitimately possible to create an entire voiceover without recording a single word. But don't take my word for it. Go check out the other video we released today. Then try it for yourself in the new Descript. Like I said before, this is just the beginning. In the next eight or 10 weeks, we're gonna drop a whole series of new AI features, all built right into Descript's workflows, all designed to help you find your creative flow as easily in audio and video editing as you can when you're writing. So you can quickly, easily make video that looks and sounds good. And that's it. Thanks for watching.